In this video, we'll discuss Perinod syndrome, its causes, clinical features, and the effects produced by a supranuclear palsy. Perinod syndrome, also known as dorsal midbrain syndrome, is a supranuclear vertical palsy and is due to damage to the posterior commissure. Where is the center for horizontal and vertical gaze? Horizontal gaze center is in the pons and the vertical gaze center is in the midbrain at the thalamomesencephalic junction. They are rostral interstitial nucleus of medial longitudinal fasciculus and interstitial nucleus of cahal. They are connected to each other and they are also connected to the contralateral side and then they are connected to the oculomotor nucleus. Nucleus. The vertical eye movements are generated in the rostral interstitial medial longitudinal fasciculus nucleus. This is a paired structure which generates both up and downward case. The rostral interstitial nucleus of medial longitudinal fasciculus inputs the final command for vertical gaze. What's the sensory component of the horizontal and vertical gaze? The vertical gaze and horizontal gaze afferent comes from the vestibular system through the medial longitudinal fasciculus on both sides to the third fourth cranial nerve nuclei, the interstitial nucleus of Cajal and rostral interstitial nucleus of medial longitudinal fasciculus. What are the effects of a supranuclear lesion? A supranuclear lesion causes inhibition of inhibitory control that leads to increased activity of the oculomotor nucleus that activates the eye muscle causing vertical gaze palsy which has the following feature. It's just like the loss of inhibitory control in the upper motor neuron lesion which causes a spastic paresis. Here too there is loss of inhibitory control. So number one sign is the sun setting sign. Eye is in a conjugate down position and patient cannot move the eye up. The sun setting sign is also seen in failed hydrocephalus shunt. Number two, there is lid retraction or collier sign. Why? This is due to the increased activity of the levator palpebri superioris muscle. Number three, eye retraction. Why? It's due to the increased activity of the superior rectus and inferior rectus muscles which pull the eyeball backward. Number four, convergence retraction. Why? Due to strong medial rectus muscle action and superior rectus and inferior rectus pulling the eyeball backward causing retraction and the lateral rectus muscle supplied by the abducens nerve pulls the eyeball laterally so there is an stagmoid movement and number five there is light near dissociation the light reflex is lost due to supranuclear lesion but the accommodation reflex is present because that is controlled by the visual cortex the optic tract gives a twig to the tectum tectum is destroyed which gives a bilateral twig to the Edinburgh Westfall nucleus for so damage to the dactum causing loss of light reflex in this case. What are the other clinical features of Perinod syndrome? Increased intracranial pressure, bilateral papilledema, dilatation of the third ventricle and hydrocephalus. What's the cause of hydrocephalus in Perinod syndrome? Cerebral aqueduct occlusion from pineal tumor compression causes hydrocephalus. Oculomotor and trochlear nerve palsy and in Internuclear ophthalmoplegia also occur in Perinod syndrome. What's the eyeball position in Perinod syndrome? It's a conjugate down gaze. I lose the ability to move upwards and downwards. Patient cannot look up. So what are the causes? Compression, ischemia, hemorrhage, obstructive hydrocephalus and aneurysm cause perinod syndrome. What are the causes of perinod syndrome? The most common cause is a pineal tumor usually occur in children and is due to germinoma of the pineal gland. And in germinoma, the alpha fetoprotein and HCG, human chorionic gonadotrophin, are raised. What's the treatment of germinoma? Treatment for germinoma is radiation therapy. Why? Because they are very sensitive to radiation. The other causes are multiple sclerosis in women and upper brain stem stroke in older people. Which infection causes perinod syndrome? Cystic cirrhosis.